What's up guys? This is the Breffman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. And to, pick it, and to kick it off, we are having our first engagement, our first proper engagement, um, against the Russians. Because now we've started to expand in the Balkans and we've taken Istanbul. Then we, that has opened us up to uh, new borders against the Russian Empire. So we have a new enemy to focus on. So first of all, we're going to chew up this small force from Yarmir Shalinov. Shalimov. Um... Should be pretty simple. Got a good amount of artillery. Um, an infantry superiority. I've got some good cavalry. I'm not there. His regiment of dragoons. Okay. Got some good range on those dragoons. Melee attack 11, defense 12. Okay, so in combat, my hussars should be winning. My regiment of horse should be winning. Attack 11, defense 13. Charge bonus 12 compared to. There isn't one. No. Either way, let's chew them up. Um, and then this force under Arturo Cruz will be slowly expanded to a, to be a larger force, and then they will uh, advance north and secure the Russian territory north of our position to buy us a bit more breathing space. Um, but I don't, um, I don't think the, the Russians have realised what they've got themselves into. Okay, this positioning is a bit funky. Uh, ooh. This terrain's pretty good. So let's... First of all, let's see where they're going to deploy before we figure out about if we're going to be on the offence or on the defence. Fairly normal setup. See where they're going to be at. Let's take our guns. Make sure they focus on their artillery. So they do have the terrain advantage. We've lost a couple of artillerymen, but no actual guns yet. What's their dragoons advancing? Are they charging? They are charging. Very well. It will reduce our firepower, but it will also mean... Okay, right. Now, okay, so now we've dropped into square. They've decided they don't want to do that. So let's drop these guys into line. Oh, they're dismounting. Good. So we can get our guys out of formation and start a bit of a push because, to be honest, their force isn't exactly strong to do to begin with. Our hussars are going to drop into square. You men. Oh, they have they just pit, pitched up just out of range of this this unit. So. Hussar units are still mobile. Dragoons have routed. Yeah, they think they've got their moves. Let's commit my Hussars to chase down those Dragoons that are on foot. These two units, get them out of square, get them forming up. With this unit, you guys chase down the 9th Regiment. This unit, eh, the Hussars did break the square, but I'm not overly bothered about chasing them down. So my artillery focus on the infantry that's marching up. Okay, let's get my cavalry out of there. Let's get my infantry to run. You guys charge the rear of the Hussars. So these guys can head off the infantry that's now advancing into the town. Our line infantry has started the started the battle to engage there. Who's back there? A full strength Hussar unit. Make sure we kill a handful more of those guys and run them back. Okay, let's get you guys into line. Get my artillery to focus on... Actually, they're probably okay. They hit the Hussars there. You guys... Actually, get you both hit the Hussars. We've got a bit of a... 
bit of a blob forming here. But let's keep the momentum going. Reposition out on the flank. Let's deploy my cavalry into the mix, A, because they're being shot at already, and B, we can do some good stuff. Get all my artillery to focus fire on the 32nd here in this big clump. These are both guard units up on the flank. So my general could potentially knock out the artillery and my regiment of horse could spar with their hussars. Okay, let's get my artillery to actually focus on this clump over here because they are the weak ones. General's bodyguard, get the artillery, hussars. My regiment of horse, charge the hussars. The force is breaking. Yeah, you guys hit their, cav their light cavalry. Knock out the artillery. Try to see if I can get my cavalry out to entice them to form into squares. So we're not too bothered about chasing down just yet. My general might be in, a, be in a good place to do it, although his first order of business will be massacring their gunners. The Simonevsky foot guards are routed, which is good to see. So I'm going to keep my cavalry just sat right there. Keep my guys engaging them with musket fire. Come on, kill the gunners. You guys kill the foot guards. This line of infantry battle is still ongoing. Just a handful of irregulars and some foot guards there that are not long for this world. Now you guys charge the second guard grenadier regiment because that's another foot guard unit over there. The 44th regiment have come back, so engage them with my artillery as well as driving up my some of my infantry, although it looks like, well, these two units are going to be able to push up like so. You're taking your time killing the gunners. It looks like shenanigans are at play, in which case then let's let my cavalry charge on and let my artillery, artillery and infantry clean them up. Aha, those guys have decided to come back. So you guys wheel right. You guys keep charging the hussars. All the infantry over here is dead. So you charge down the 32nd regiment. Get you guys to both fight to hit the 5th foot guards. Not entirely needed to have the artillery support here, although you are going to be a bit weak. For the foreseeable future, for this foreseeable future, come on! You got a handful of guys to kill. They're probably scattered. They are. They're all over the shop. You guys also get involved against the Hussars. There we go, get this infantry unit over here. Get all my artillery aiming at the 44th. I should get you guys over here, because the 5th foot guards, they'll be quite a nice collar. Yeah, we're definitely not going to kill the 2nd Grenadier Regiment, so both focus on the 32nd Regiment of Foot there. And the 44th are upset, they're losing, their, their morale is slowly being whittled down by our concentrated volleys. So we are taking damage. Alright, chase them down. You guys march off. Okay, 
Yeah, the 52nd, they were upset, but now they're being joined by the 51st and the 50th. Cool. Oh, my artillery's doing some friendly fire damage there. Yeah, we're going to keep this going just because we may as well. Got a good amount of cavalry, although the 32nd are going to be... Well, when they're all spread out like this, you need to commit. You can't commit your cavalry in dribs and drabs. You need to just say, I'm going to kill this unit with a load of my cavalry. Otherwise, they will escape. Yeah, but these guys are going to escape. But still, it's a bit of good damage done. Um, yeah, they're going to escape. Yeah, they're going to escape. My guys aren't going to catch up to them in time. Uh, no. Nope. They're going to get real close, and then it's going to be the end. Yep. Damn, damn, damn. But still, that's the repulse of the first Russian army. And, and obviously they route the most inconvenient direction. Como, senor? I'm going to pull back to here to try and prevent them from interfering with the dock. So, because we've got some visibility and if they come down from Belgrade and they've got dirt roads anyway. The next thing is going to be Istanbul, making sure that their recruitment program goes well. So I can beef up another force to push out. And I've also got you here, Diogo Coronado. Who are in good shape. We're going to march on towards Sinop. Who will, in turn, in time rather, be able to ship to sail you over to Crimea. I could actually just use one of these plentiful ships I have. I don't know why I sent two of them. They will find a use in the fullness of time. So in terms of technology, no. Okay, let's get... Seville working on reorganised procurement. Let's get Cambridge working on something a bit lower tier. Maybe you can carry on with the seed planting drill. Salamanca is doing citizenship. And reduces the recruitment cost for infantry, which is pretty good. Especially as, as much as we've conquered... Oh, I lost an agent. As much as we've conquered a lot of uh, territory on land, we don't actually have that big of an army. So we know there's one thing that's definitely going to happen, and that's going to be the expansion of the the Spanish army. But I'm okay to do that gradually. It gradually, incrementally, incrementally, in incrementally, incrementally and strategically. Um, so right now we are potentially about to fight a major war with Russia. But because we've got the cities of Istanbul and Athens secured, that means we do actually have... Yeah, I'm going to water is all that. <laughs> um, it does mean we have quite a substantial recruiting base uh, in the Balkans. So we are going to want to keep upgrading their military buildings to keep both the types and quantities and qualities of units recruited. Well, you guys can no longer can't keep going. Okay, go to I see. You were going to go over here, but actually, I want you a bit more close to the front. New port emerges. Belfast here. Have a trading port. Agent executed. Yep. Yeah, so there goes our eyes in Damascus. Cool. So you're now up over to Sinop. Let's take two of these ships out. combine you chaps sail you over you're already being blockaded by the knights of st john so land on the shore there's no other ports we can make war on because that last port there is ottoman at least for now Ankara, let's get roads upgraded for you and get a drill school because even if we're not focusing on this area we could well get betrayed by the ottomans so i might actually get fortifications for Ankara. Okay, can you leave if I get you guys in? Minus three, still with exempt from tax? No. Okay, so let's keep you guys in. I'm going to want to transfer two of these colonial militia units over. 
and allow them to get replaced by Spanish Infantry del Marina. Oh, which I could probably do with some howitzers. I could do with a bit of an upgrading, actually. So let's take two of our least experienced units. They can also go over. Um, I might pinch. Pinch two of these howitzers and those two new infantry units, and they can continue to march. Arturo Cruz, you're replenishing, and you're also picking up reinforcements from... Athens. So you're going to get those Swiss regiment and you're also going to get the two Swiss regiment. Let's get some howitzers. I mean Spanish conquistador would be amazing. But I think that's probably something I can only get in Spain. Don't worry, I am going to use this recruitment tree. Um, but really, I should, just, I should just be using it now. We've got a lot of Dragoons guarding Madrid. So I might recruit the general Florencio Ayala. Let's get him somewhere out on the... Out to here, maybe. Somewhere close to Lisbon and Madrid. Let's start recruiting. So we've got German Crucier Royal Regiment. That's a new unit. But I really am enamoured by these Spanish conquistadors. Although I, I do, oh, I, do I send them over to to other new, to the new world? That's the question. Uh, no, I've deleted the wrong unit now. Spanish conquistador. Let's get two hussar, hussar units. Uh, let's make sure we get some. Good old 12 pounders, and then probably do some economy invest economy spending. Because right now I mean our economy is in good shape, 30,000. But I do want to boost that sweet, sweet tax income. So let's get this sloop over to Palma de Mallorca. And we've also got another requirement for a port a ship to occupy a nava. So let's get a galley a light galley recruited here. Naples is secure. Can't really invest there. Petras could get a new port. I mean Ankara getting a port would probably be pretty awesome as well. Let's upgrade the church school, upgrade clearances. Good because Ankara you should start booming. Really, as we upgrade everything. Good stuff. Okay, Rumelia. Yeah, you got built. We can repair the farm. Um, let's hit enter. <coughs> Apologies, everyone. Um, oh, my agent is working his way across North Africa, slowly converting the North African coast. Um, soon they'll probably start to get redeployed towards the Balkans. French are continuing their war against the Austrians. I'm glad they lost because we are trading with the Austrians. So I don't want France blockading their port. Although I am happy to have them continue their war. -ha -ha. So there goes another Spanish ship that's likely to get gobbled up by the overall... By this, the pretty superior French navy. Yeah, the Ottomans, they're not done with us yet. But I do have to, I just have to balance my deployment of forces against the Russians, because we're probably going to start seeing, you know, proper armies come out from Russia. We haven't yet, so tactically I should be rushing Bulgaria, really, because I can cut I can capture and dominate the two crossings into the region before they get there. So this this tends probably a good tend to do that. So we've got a rake in England. But first of all, I want to action my my plan. So you need to lose one more unit of infantry. So I can steal this howitzer unit. You guys can leave. Rumelia is not happy with us at all. 
But when you're garrisoned, you are now okay with it. So you guys pick up some artillery. You make your way over to the crossing. Whoa. Okay, there they are. There's the Russians. They will be attacked in due course, but I'm actually going to pull you guys back a tiddly bit. You guys are still holding position while your reinforcements push up. We probably don't need this many to push on Belgrade. That's probably fine. Let us do some basic economy upgrading. So Anaba got upgraded, so let's take our light galley across to Anaba and upgrade the port there. We don't need to worry about the dockyard. My kick-ass fleet is taking position in the Ivory Coast, so let's start to raid the trade zone, the trade routes as well. Okay. Hmm. Get some guns for my Tangier force, because they are they're a good army. We should start we should really make more use of them. So in terms of trade zones, so we dominate the Ivory Coast. Ooh. Nah. Not bothered about wanting any of those ships, and if they're happy to sit there doing nothing, my navy's happy to let them My Navy's happy to let them sit there. See this fleet. Got a good watchful eye over the Madagascar, the Straits of Madagascar, and that's which I called the Ivory Coast. Wrong side of the continent. Whop whop. Obviously, over here at the East Indies, we've got I mean, it's New Spain, Denmark, and that's New Spain down there. At least it was last time. Yeah, it is. So the only territory that we don't have that much visibility on is the coast of Brazil. So this fleet would be ripe for that. So let's build a handful of fourth rates and we'll send them to that region. Okay. I, mm, I was thinking about, you know, do I attack Russia from the north? The answer is no. But I could attack 13 colonies. To be honest, that might be where this army goes. <laughs> this army might go and attack the 13 colonies. Ooh, Spain are unhappy. Okay, they need... They need more Dragoons. So this is where I need to really research abolition of slavery to get that um, possible happiness lower classes. Because I can't upgrade any more happiness buildings unless I knock down a industry building, which is definitely possible. But I'd rather not. It's a pretty neat Dragoon unit there. Okay, let's get you to keep recruiting. So you've got two units of artillery. You're getting your cavalry. Let's get some infantry then. Asturias Regiment. One of the most famed Spanish companies. Well, there we go. Let's get two of those. Granadier, Granadier Ostemarina. Let's get two of those. So these are melee infantry. Are they? No, they're not. There's one. Oh, it's the halberdiers that are the melee infantry. There we go, the Royal Halberdier Guard. Ah, oh, damn. Let's get some. Oh, can we only get one of those? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. We're going to get some pikes because we know pikes are useful. <laughs> this is going to be such an interesting army. Successful mission for Ignacio Canaba. Stick it out, Nacho. We got you, buddy. Let's upgrade the military academy, and then let's dump some more money into Ankara. Let's upgrade the opera house to a. Let's upgrade the opera house to a grand opera house because we're not worried about the research rate, but we would like more money and more happiness in this part of the world. And we want to start chipping away that religious unrest. It's going to take a lot of time. Then our forces up here against Crimea demand the surrender of the garrison. Can't repair the territory. And we do have Russian ships there, but I wonder... This, the, if I do that, will the Russians and the Knights of, St. Knights of St. John fight each other? That's the question. But I'd like, if I can take Belgrade and I can take Serbia, 
Belgrade is a bit is a bit strung out because it gives us a new frontier against Austria, but we have two bridges we can control. Sarajevo can get gobbled up. But if we end up engaging in war against Austria, Belgrade will be ripe for pushing, but we, we, we'll also have a combined front line against the Austrians here, and I'd like to grab Venice to kind of block French eastward expansion, but I would allow them to still go up and try and take Munich. Okay, don't think there's much else I can invest in to give me a financial return. Make some, make some people a bit happier. I don't want to make. I don't want to untax Spain, untax um, untax Madrid. If I have to destroy a industrial building, I will. Like like a very poor Iron Masters works. It produces a good amount of money, but they are they're minus one unhappiness. If I knock that down, yeah, I might just do that. I don't. I really don't want to have too much of a garrison in my capital. So Belgrade is ripe for the taking. There's no one there. My spy has confirmed that the frontier is open. Mm, the French. <laughs> That's backfired for the French. And there go the Austrians. They've been backed up against our territory and they've been gobbled up by the French. But the Austrians are regrouping, as they often do. And now they have that naval superiority ish there's this fireworks going off it's way too late for fireworks they've made port in venice more ottoman troops marching up to join forces okay the ottomans oh, where are you going to go Still, I like that we have Crimea, because it does provide a new axis for the Russians to worry about against us. And it gives us some good visibility out into you know, the borders of... Out into, into the interior of Russia, because they have... I wonder if... No, don't do that. Ooh, retreat. Not a great retreat direction, but I didn't want to attack... Two and a half stacks of Russian troops out of position. Hmm. I would like more troops to spar with the Russians in that territory because it's quite a broad front. Oh no! Don't, don't, don't! Oh, God damn it! So they're going to be a frustration. <laughs> they're going to be annoying. Okay. So workers on strike in Spain, although that's been lessened because of the industrialization issue being eased up, so I'm going to build another coaching in. That should cause cultural entertainment to bump up. It is a bit of a temporary fix, but I don't I just don't want to be spending money on a huge garrison in my city in my capital city the whole time. So let's build a new upgrade my seminary. Let us upgrade Belfast's port. Probably no way good to nick a ship from, but you, so if you can build one quick, that'd be great. You've not been building that many galleons, but that's because there's chiefly not been a need. Okay, so upgrade Cartagena to a global trading company. Okay, lots of good recruitment. <laughs> Morocco got their artillery. So it makes you wonder if that's going to be a permanent fixture. Do we, are we always going to need an army here at Tangier? Let's do a bit of upgrading, see what they do. Let's get some more artillery. This army is still growing. Although now we've got the the pretty cool conquistadors are involved. Let's get some artillery. Okay. So we don't want to fill up our army with loads of stuff that's really good. Stuff that we really like. Yeah, there's our pikemen. I was looking for them. You know, I don't have one unit that's all of the exciting stuff, because then there's nothing else to go around. So we've got ten spaces. Let's get... Get some howitzers, and let's get three units of regular infantry. Bada bing, bada boom. When that's all recruited, we've got a full army. 
So, okay, upgrade you to wineries. So yeah, you can make all speed up to Belgrade while we upgrade this to a craft workshop. You try and make your way here to then hopefully attack Igor. This army's almost done. You can get some grenadiers and we're going to upgrade your okay military academy is your, is your next upgrade let's upgrade the jesuit college and let's also drop some money on industry buildings although we are going to be at war with the ottomans at some point so yeah. keep keep buying handfuls of uh, handfuls of troops and we've still not repaired Crimea. Did I lose an arm? Did I lose it? Oh no, he's in the he's in the port. Okay. Well, next turn, repair repair the uh, the Crimea capital. That's the priority. Let's hit end turn. As my spy continues on on his path to the Russian front, the French have gobbled up that Ottoman fleet, and there's that, those Russians are still raiding. But I'm happy to, for them to raid. We've got French sailing ships over to the New World. Don't worry, France, we will be joining you. I'd like to try and attack, do a north-south attack. I want to land an army in Charleston, an army in Maine, and then we can push from both directions. That will bring us into future conflict with the French, but I think we're all well aware that that's on the cards anyway. Not even trying to steal technology. Yeah, that farm is never going to get upgraded. So if I upgrade it, it's just going to constantly be raided by the Russians. Although it's tempting, if I could take Bulgaria and if I could take Bulgaria and uh, Serbia, would we make it get a temporary peace? Yeah, they're attacking my privateers. Fair enough. If we could attack them. And take those two territories. Could we? Could that be our way to get a negotiated peace? Because I am acutely aware of the this future that we're radically heading towards, which is going to be um, well. I, I'm I'm very much um, biased towards the the concept of total war, and it's like when I'm at war, we never never ever stop being at war. You must always pursue and destroy. Um, <laughs> Oh, go on, what knights? Fight the Russian fleet. No! Damn it, knights. The one time you do something useful. And the Mughals are pushing up to Tangier. Well, they're going to be bloodily repelled. My... Yeah, so that hit our finances. But this is why we have a... Super good fleet here. Just takes them and goes... Pow! Didn't lose a single ship. Do I want your sloop? No, I don't want your sloop. Although I am going to strategically base them at Mallorca. I know, because they've got a ship already in there. Okay, let's get them back to Sandy Bay, because I'm aware that those, this Russian fleet's on the way. You're going to get repelled, that's not a problem. Fleet destroyed, that's a very rich term for two privateers. Florence has grown, so let's upgrade you to a craft workshop. Expecting the fullness of time, we will not have to worry about clamour for reform once we've got uh, once we've got um, abolition of slavery. But yeah, let's keep the home front safe. Okay, let's keep our upgrades rolling. So you're not in a bad shape at all. Let's drop a couple more units of line, because not only do we need to fill, it, fill out this army, we just need to build a bit of a garrison at Istanbul. Well, actually, no, we don't really need to build a garrison there. First of all, you're going to march up to Belgrade and demand it in the name of the Spanish Empire. And we've not... Okay, let's get a church school. Repair the governor's residence. We're going to repair the Crimean government building. We're not going to upgrade roads. 
to help, help inhibit Russian movement if they try to trespass. We're going to upgrade the silver mine and we're going to upgrade this farmland. And actually, no, we're not because I want to come over here. Take the garrison at Tangier out, Enrique de Leon, and hit Cam Abdullah. Let's push him away from Tangier. We're going to push him away back to the coast, and where we can hopefully do lots and lots of damage. And I mean, they are going to raid our ports. There's no way about it. There's no way out of it. Um, that's going to happen. That's absolutely going to happen. So we have the smaller force. We're going to want them to come at us. Let's get my infantry to fill out the centre. Drop our guns on the flank. This is a pretty... Apart from the damn hill. <laughs> I was about to say it's a pretty good position. So these are our... Grenadieros de Marina, which look lovely and bright. This is a regiment of Walloon infantry, which also look pretty lovely. And then here are the um, Corso Terrestre Guerrilla, Guerrilla, which look... I mean, I'm trying to pronounce it authentically, but I have no idea. Um, so... <laughs> uh, my pronunciation may or may not sound, sound... It may not be right, but it'll sound Spanish, and that's close enough. Uh, let's take... Okay, yeah, you need, you need, you want cavalry, really. Damn sound. So they've got a good amount of artillery, but they are just guns and cannons. So they're quite early gun units, although this, this unit lost two artillery teams, which is pretty awesome. So these gunners have done a pretty good job. You guys... Okay, we, we want to bombard them for a bit. Though actually, you guys... Keep bombarding. We might have... Oh, I might get a second unit to rout. But I, eh, I doubt we're going to be that lucky. So we've got some horsemen who've taken some losses coming in. We've got camels coming in. There's more camels on the flank. You guys can't deploy stakes, but you are hidden. Let's make sure these guys are on guard mode. So I want my cannons hitting or going after these uh, going after these enemy units because we we don't have. We don't have the cavalry. Oh, we have oh, yeah, the Regimento de Soria. With their red... Actually, they're slightly... Oh, no, they have got... Okay, the red the red tunics... Well, the red coat. The tunic beneath their coat, or whichever way around it's meant to be. Blast them with canister shot. My gorillas have pushed away. One unit of camels. They've been shattered. Redirect your fire onto those camel nomads. Round shot that two man. Because they've been shattered, so they're not coming back. But those guys, they're just wavering. But a good cannon shot. Alright, my gorillas are reloading. Except for this guy. <laughs> He's got a sword. He's there going, alright. Don't worry about me. So let's push up our infantry flank. So it looks like the camels are coming straight out of the guns. So round shot the bejesus out of them. Or canister shot the bejesus out of them. And there they go, they're shattered. These are Sikh warriors, so we don't really want to be pushing up against you. My gunners start focusing on the bowman hordes coming our way. 
because there's no one coming in the centre, I might actually split up. The gorillas are opening up on the sea quarries, they'll punish them for coming within range. Oh, Grenadieros de Marina aren't even firing. Spanish Walloon. And are these the Walloon? I was doing... Okay, it's the Grenadiero de Marina. I was... In my head, I did... it did cross my head, it crossed my mind. I'm like, these guys look like Grenadiers. See if we can. I really hope we can knock out the camel gunners before they make it to my skirmisher lines. Go on, Grenadiers. Thin out then. Thin out their numbers! You aim at that. To that. Dakili there. One of their few units of actual line infantry is advanced up the centre. And they have fire by rank. So that's good intelligence to know. Although they've, they're broken. The sea quarries are broken. They're going to rout immediately. So the guns over here, you guys switch to round shot. Engage the horsemen. You guys switch to round shot. Engage the horsemen as well, I guess. You guys advance up on the left. We've got a strong centre position. Let's just begin to push. As we've, as we've got it, we may as well keep our artillery attacking some of these targets to the rear. We do have a Bowman unit we have to turf out from this wall. Yep, here comes their horsemen. Bowman displacing right in front of us. Both of these units are untouched, so that's quite good for them from a um, experience perspective, although it likely will not last. Although, here they are. They might get both these units to rout with, the f with their salvos. The Bowmen have almost gone. They have gone. The Desert Warriors have gone again. Bowmen have gone. I mean, it's, I mean, they're bowmen. You're not. You don't. It's not as if you expect them to do anything else. Let's bring our cavalry to bear. Focus the horsemen with our artillery. I mean, I'm okay with being caught on the hop. That unit's just going to drop into square. In which case, then, let's redirect my artillery to focus on the bowmen there. And then just advance that whole wing up to ignore their cavalry. Hey. You guys can't come back. That's against the rules. Go on, gorillas. Your point blank range. Take them out. Let's watch one of these hit these Spanish heroes. Let's see if this guy can take out. Oh, this guy. Missed him. Missed him. You missed him as well. How about you? You missed him as well. They're all missing. Okay, here we go. Some of their other units are being brought to bear, which makes it sound makes them sound a lot more um, devastating and important than they actually are. To Fangy, looks at the Bowman, Bowman. Yeah, it's just a Mughal army. <laughs> A Mughal army that's not got many um, decent units available to it. 
Okay, you guys can't actually get involved, so let's push up to point blank range. My gunners, well, my, my general cleared the way for the infantry. Look at this 12 pounder. Come on, come on, fellas, let's get out of here. Things don't look so great. Yeah, there's two fangy on here. Um, they're not long for this world. Good, you men. Good, good, good. Chase down the gunners. Just don't let them hang around. I mean, that bow unit's going to get annihilated. Let's stop our artillery fire because all it's going to be doing now is killing our own men. <laughs> God alive. The 45th. They're waiting. have been waiting to meet you guys. Oh no, they're reloading. The 30th. They've been waiting to meet you guys. Yeah, they are going to route through. That's going to cost them. They're still going to get. Some of them are going to get through, but a lot of them will get caught. Bit of friendly fire there as they shoot into the 30, 30th regiment to try kill them. Yeah, even though the army is not technically entirely routed, okay, now it is. We're going to continue. And we're just going to. Chase down and kill as many as we can with my general. Yes. Destroy. Crash. Yeah, they're going to retreat into a dodgy position. And again, so are you guys. Come on. So, even though I've got about 1,300 hours into this game, one thing I have fairly recently learned, because I'm a dumb dumb is that you know when I get into all these situations where the game's kind of bugged and I'm there going, oh, I've got to kill that guy. Well, I don't, because once you've got that splash screen that come, comes up that says you can choose to win, you can choose to, to quit. No, no, sorry. When the splash screen shows up that says, you've won, do you want to carry on or do you want to quit? Before then, if you quit, you lose. But if you see that screen, you can quit without finishing the battle because you've already won and everything else is just gravy. So of course, Kid, I'm an idiot, didn't learn that for an awful long time. So let's send Mr. Leon on to just continue the slaughter. I mean, only so far. We lost a couple of units there, but we can replenish. And he also got, he also got unsteady under fire, bloody, superior general, Corporal in gold braid, which is great. I mean, he's 55, so he's not long for this world anyway. But still, that's not the point. Sí, to be honest, maybe he might take place of Florencio de Ayala going over to the Americas. To be honest, rather than my spy sat there doing nothing, I may as well just... Me dispongo a marcar. I'm not bothered about the efficiency of getting him over to Europe. Like, because obviously putting him into port and moving him is the most efficient, but as I wasn't really that bothered if I could use him at all, you know, I'll take that as a as a reasonable result. So yeah, Serbia's been taken. If I can take Sofia, which I might, actually. If I can take Sofia, I would be tempted to see if I could use that to get a temporary peace with Russia, because that would push them all the way back to this side of the, uh, the Iasi uh, border. Which means there's only one route they can come at me from. I doubt they'll go for it though, but let's try it. So we're going to attack Sofia with, against a a garrison and then a, then a rather depleted reinforcing army with our good force under Geronimo Nadal. So I know his name his name isn't Geronimo, but whatever. I think it sounds funny. So 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 so. Let's get deployed, and let's get attacking. Yeah, sometimes the AI does, they do go for it when you, if you can 
if you can deal a devastating blow to them, they will um, occasionally say, okay, you know what, let's, we will actually make peace. So, let's have my artillery firing round uh, carcass shot. Gotta bear in mind, we haven't actually got necessarily a brilliant army for the offensive battles, but it's still pretty good. Too much artillery. Focus on the hit those grenadiers to our front because they block our line of advance. Except my artillery is going to be attacking their artillery by default anyway. Got my artillery to scout to the top of the hill. My cavalry to scout to the top of the hill. My cavalry. You're going to act as a bit of a reaction force for if they try to cut around the flanks. I mean, that's their. <laughs> yeah, those grenadiers are damn. So one howitzer unit can attack them, another howitzer unit attack the 54th. My entire artillery battery focus on their mortars. The beautiful Spanish guns. Even near misses can still do some good damage. Okay, my line needs to run. It was quite an aggressive position, I do admit. If I made them run from the, the get-go, I reckon I would have made it. Cavalry is charging. Seemingly it's charging. I mean, they've chosen a pretty wonky route of advance. Yeah, just drop a bunch of the, the most affected units into square. Get my quick climbing howitzers, my, my carcass shotting howitzers to spread their fire. There you go, all, all of their cavalry has been turned away. Form a square, get my light, how, how, my light cavalry to counter charge. Let's get my cavalry to run a straight line through into their artillery. Although my field artillery is having quite a good day. Karka shot landing into the woods onto the right flank, hitting the 29th, which is pretty good. Obviously got pikemen on the right flank. You guys slam into the militia, actually, because they've routed and you want to keep that momentum going. Another unit. We've got a unit of Cossacks. I've got to say another unit of Cossacks. No, it's just a unit of Cossacks. So let's try break the provincial, well not break, shatter the provincial militia. Just because I want them to not come back. Although it looks like we're doing a real number on their forces in the field. Carcass shot hit the pikes because they're stationary. The left flank's a bit flaky. It's Cossacks and Kulak, not Kulaks, Kalmuks going to say it's not the Kulaks. They're safely locked away in their cabins. Carcass shot should be hitting those pikes pretty well. Let's get the cavalry back. Cavalry's been repelled. Get you guys out of square formation but pivot you guys back a little bit. Get my cavalry back in reserve. So get my cavalry to hit the 29th, get my infantry line to advance up to the woods. You guys advance, actually you guys get them to advance, well get these grenadiers just to not take position behind the wall, but just get them to move up. So we're starting to get the reinforcements coming in, but they've not really got many reinforcements. All my artillery focus on those Tatar at the back. They're still within range. So unleash a devastating artillery barrage. Karka shots coming in as well. Although they're also going to get hit by my cavalry. 
my artillery, my infantry rather, they're shattered. To be honest, we could probably stand to advance this flank up to that tree line. The, yeah, I was going to say, the 54th are not long for this world. So these guys have hit my marine grenadiers, and then my cavalry is going to smash into the rear. I know they're pikes, but we all know how well hoplites handle hammer and anvil. Yeah, there they go. They're falling down quick. Push my infantry up to engage their cavalry. Oh, I'm sure it retargeted you. No, maybe I didn't. Ah, they're Tatar firing bows and arrows at me. Okay, let's begin to pivot the bulk of our forces to face the reinforcements. Get my artillery to begin firing. Yeah, they've got it's mostly just bits and bobs units coming in. Enemy general has been killed. Okay, let's get my infantry line up. You guys charge the ninth. Yeah, you broke anyway. Okay, let's push up. You guys try to take out the general. I mean, I hope I didn't just quick climb a whole <laughs> quick. Well, I don't think I quick climbed a whole bunch of my guys, but I'm definitely going to be doing more damage than I would like. So let's switch you guys to round shot, focus fire all the way back there. Although I doubt you can reach. No, you can't reach. You men engage the general. These fusiliers are being engaged at maximum range, but understandably they do not want to stick around. They've lost their officer. Not that it, not that, that makes a difference, but I like to think that it does. There's one guerrilla mercenary, one guy, and it's their officer. So he hasn't even got a musket. He's just got his sword. Nope. Oh no, he's still okay. He's still... He's around. So my men are positioning to engage the 20th Regiment of Foot. The General's routing. Fortunately, we didn't kill him. All my artillery focus on this unit of grenadiers that's entered the field. Now it says drop shots in onto the 43rd. Push up. There we go. Gonna get some good flanks on these men. All my gunners hit the 22nd. They're a regiment of foot. Don't you know who we are? We're the Russian Empire. Go, okay, yep. And we are Spaniards. And we're going to clear you out. Yeah, all my artillery focus on those grenadiers. Everyone else is going to get absolutely reamed by musket fire so they really need to commit artillery um, artillery power against any of these guys yeah got, killed a couple of grenadiers but they're gonna have a go back yep there you go so 
so let's position some guys at the rear immediately towards the rear pivot you guys across I mean these grenadiers are particularly keen against the cavalry I'm going to keep on luring them because they do want to push the 43rd uh, have got a bit of cover behind this house it's, it's not, en not enough cover to their liking so the new guys can pivot keep on drawing their grenadiers out let's just crank up the time a bit <laughs> so position my cavalry here excellent artillery shot there because the 10th regiment you are a regiment I would like to kill so let's try let's try kill the 10th two cavalry units they're spreading out but it's like a lot of horse units, although the edge of the map is right there, so... Nah, I don't know if that counts or not. <laughs> I don't know if it means they die or they're destroyed or not. But at the very least, it means that they've been killed and we've taken Sophia. So if I go to Russia and say, right, you've tried your little war. Oh, fair enough. Well then, can I, peek? Can I trade with your enemy? <laughs> now the Ottomans are trading with us. And let's trade with the 13 colonies. No, well maybe not. <laughs> I don't know when New Spain's grumpy with us. You men, replenish a little bit. Let's get our agent out of Sofia. Instead get him up to Klausenberg to keep an eye on what the, uh, the Austrians are doing. So we do have this army here that needs killing. As to, same with you, uh, but everything else seems pretty good. So you're still building your pretty elite army that's completely unbloodied. Uh, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode there because if I hit in turn, um, I just have to do a lot more stuff. Actually, uh, eh, there's only two minutes past the hour. Now nah, go on. Let's see where. We, let's see if we end on a more. A more interesting and spicy note. I suspect we'll just have lots of minor things to do. But it's in my interest to have a more have a reasonably strong Ottoman Empire because they are also a, a hedge against the the Russians, and they also keep the um, the French bottled up. Although I suspect they're probably going to gun for me. Out of, if it was either attack me or attack the French. It does make more sense to attack me, but at the same time I'd like them to attack the Russians, damn it. Still moving their agents across. Still trying to steal that tech. And they're going to keep, they're pumping out, well, they're sending lots and lots of troops down. Uh, in Now to the, the Romanian front. But we can see. Now you're going to raid, eh? Don't have the stones to do anything else with your big scary army, eh? Oh, that's not the interesting thing I was interested in. Blah! Bye-bye. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Ah, your agent had to walk a bit further because I don't have good roads. So we've got IRC secure, well, not secured, under surveillance. We do need to go hit that Russian army and push them back north of the river, as well as take my Bulgaria garrison out to go and, I mean, whack. Yay! Okay, so, Morocco, you get back to Tangier. And replenish. Couple of raids. Tech advances. That's a good one. So we've got reorganized procurement. You want to go back down to do diamond formation. Fine. Salamanca's going to do 
citizenship, Cambridge is going to go on to Punch Card Loom for the wide, the more wide, um, oh, okay, it was the, uh, the fleet in here, the ship in here that got knackered. My fleet here is actually pretty good. You guys replenish. Sweet. Okay, got some. I have lots of port upgrades. Let's upgrade Greece's con uh, in uh, military buildings. Let's upgrade Istanbul's. This army is going to stay where they are, annoyingly. Oh, yeah. Let's recruit a bit of a relief column. Yaromir is going to want to get attacked. So, what about, okay, two uh, two troops there. Okay, the cl the uh, colonial militia are going to be. Can they keep watch over our mighty empire? Down to minus two. If I exempt them from tax, we get a bit more time. Okay, and let's do a bit of building. There we go. Keep on upgrading. See, Cordoba has got a coaching game. Upgrade it to a boardy house straight away. Anatolia has got their fortifications and so on. Let's upgrade. Okay, let's do some port upgrades. Because they're very good. And they generally... They're, they're more of a... You know, the longer you... Oh, they compound quite nicely. Four and a half grand, a cool four and a half grand afterwards to spend. It's tempting to try and buy Sarajevo off the Austrians, but I don't want to do that yet until I'm in a bit of a stronger position in the Balkans. Let's upgrade the Governor's Palace in Ankara. See, I want to get you guys out here to attack Grigori. Bartrev, because you're just going to raid and do lots of annoying things. But this is where we're going to end the episode. I want to march here. And then hit Yanomir Neb Nebokatov. We're going to destroy and push this army back, although they've, a number of key units are very, very low. So I think we should be very capable of doing this. So now we're going to end the episode. Haha! <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for another battle against the Russians, and hopefully we kill this general, because he's pretty experienced. So, thanks everyone. <laughs>